You'll get the same effect pretty much every single time. You just want to make sure that you only make these motions when it comes to zone coverage. As you can see, it gives me a huge blocking advantage. But the most important part is the fact that I have this user committed to stopping the run now. That's going to basically leave me with my slant or my crosser. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. This is Mad Money Shot, Sniff the Mad Cheese as always. Got another offensive gameplay video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be going over a new offense in a brand new playbook. I'm really trying to check out some playbooks that I haven't spent a lot of time in. So I'm in the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook and I definitely have more stuff out of this offense. So if you want to see more offenses out of the Steelers playbook, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's get right into the video. Now the offense I'm going to show you guys is out of a pistol formation known as the doubles Y off. If you guys don't know, pistol formations to me are some of the best formations when it comes to running and passing in my opinion and this particular formation is no different now as far as your setup goes all you really have to do is replace the slants play with a different play that's really going to be like the main play of this formation that's the strong power the strong power is going to be one of the better runs in the game in my opinion so your four audible plays should look something like this top play will be the strong power even though it still says slants that's a glitch in the game the second play should be the halfback dive that's going to be your best inside run your third play is going to be the fade smash i'm not going to go over that much in this video if you want to see more out of this offense hit like and let me know in the comment section and then the last play is going to be the pa cross which is a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game once again if you want to see more from this pass play hit the like button let me know in the comment section now as far as this particular offensive series goes it's really simple the first play pretty much every single time is going to be the strong power this is going to be my most consistent play you can see throughout the gate i get about eight yards on the first carry i'm going to be utilizing a lot of motions on this first play here i'm going to motion across my slot receiver it really doesn't matter which receiver you motion across because you'll get the same effect pretty much every single time you just want to make sure that you only make these motions when it comes to zone coverage as you can see it gives me a huge blocking advantage and i'm heading up the sideline for a very big run this play can really go either way as well. I, mean, I could flip with the right stick, run to the short side. You can still make your motion. I can motion the B receiver or the tight end. You'll see I do all of that throughout the course of this particular video. This time I decide to not motion anybody because I don't want to give away where I was going. But you can see I'm having a lot of very consistent success with this run play no matter which direction I run it in. You can see once again, like I said, I don't want my opponent to be the clue on what I'm doing. Now I'm going to motion across the widest receiver and put him in the slot. This is all just to confuse my opponent and make him think that maybe I could be setting up a pass play. And then you can see once again, we get about another eight yard run. Very successful play. Now, it wasn't until I got inside my opponent's red zone that he really started run committing to a point where he realized he just has to shut this down. You can see, once again, I motion across my tight end. I flip the play. I can go any direction that I want. On this next play, though, he's ready for it. He's shooting these gaps now. He's basically stopping this play. So I'm going to switch over. As you can see right here, he's in a Mike Zero Blitz. Not necessarily the best run defense, but definitely shows that he's committing a lot of guys to stopping the run. Then I'm going to switch over to the PA cross. This here is definitely the best pass play. Like I said, it's one play touchdown against every single defense in the game, although I don't go over that much in this video you're going to see here all i'm really trying to do from running these plays over and over and over is i motion this guy across and put him on a slant this is probably going to be one of the better setups sometimes i'll put this a route here on a drag sometimes i'll just leave him as a blocker but pretty much all these crossing routes get open including the running back but the most important part is the fact that i have this user committed to stopping the run now and you can see how he gets stuck up on the blocks and is completely out of the play the second i play action to the running back that's going to basically leave me with my slant or my crosser both of which were open on that play because the user was nowhere to be found based on the fact that he was sucked in trying to stop the run and that run play is really the key to the success of this entire offense the strong powers where it all starts you have to run this play consistently you'll see even when your opponent starts committing and getting stops it's still going to be the mvp of the series because ultimately it's what sucks your opponent in and allows all these other lanes to open up when it comes to the pass plays on this next play he doesn't commit to the run because it's a third and ten but based on the fact that i haven't passed very often he doesn't really know what to look for when it comes to this play and he's basically out in no man's land not ready for this deep crosser to once again get a touchdown basically putting up 21 nothing against my opponent now as far as the reads go on a play like this and one of the reasons that this play is really so hard to stop there's really two reads with the running back being a very good check down that make this play so good when i make my motion across and i put my b route on a slant that's really going to give me two different routes that i'm going to read that get open at about two different points the b route will get open about 15 to 20 yards the y route will get open at about 20 to 25 so whatever your opponent sets their zone drop too it won't really matter as one of these routes will get open every single time whether it's man or zone 
And even if they wanted to try to use these crossing routes, you can't use them both. That's one of the geniuses of the passing play. The motions hide the play very well based on the fact that I'm constantly making motions for the run plays. Like on this next play here, you can see he's really stacking the box. I'm going to make this motion one more time. It doesn't matter. This looks like pretty much an all-out blitz. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, the blocking is still going to be powerful enough and it's still going to be good enough to get me to the edge to the point where I really can just keep having success with this the entire game until my opponent commits to it. And that's when I basically switch over to the one pass play that I need. Now on the next play here, you can see I got my tight in on a drag this gives me an additional option the running back goes into his route in a different direction you can see like i said my opponent is setting the entire house i get the first and essentially the touchdown is my opponent just gives up the game but you can see my completion percentage was 100 percent. i completed every single pass see ya you can see in the next game it's going to be the exact same thing different game different opponent he's still running a lot of man coverage a lot of people are running cover one for some reason i really don't know why on the next play on a third and two you're going to see i'm going to put my tight end on a drag which essentially is just bait because of the fact that I know my opponent is committing to the run with his user, he'll basically have to be forced to take the shortest route closest to him, which is the tight end, basically leading him right out of the play. Leaving me with my options once again as crosser, slant, and then running back check down, which is going to be, you know, the best three routes anyway. So on the next play, I get a little bit of a different look. He's spreading. A lot of people are spraying their defensive line to try to stop these outside runs. Anytime somebody does that, you just switch over to the halfback dive. It's a very simple read. If your opponent is going to give you the inside lanes, you take the inside lanes. You can take it close to 10 yards on the very first run. Once again, you'll see a lot of people spreading or pinching the defensive line. That's really how you decide which run play to use. Here, he's getting tired of getting gassed inside. He pinches the defensive line that makes it a very easy read to take it outside once again it's really that simple whether you run it inside or outside you're gonna have adequate blocking but at the end of the day you really just want to take what the defense gives you if they're in a defense like this where it's really just wide gaps between defensive and defensive tackle switch over to the halfback dive and flip that play aiming directly for the biggest gap on the line as you can see right here i mean i'm typically going to run right into that defensive tackle but i could easily veer to the left and take it outside of this huge gaping lane for a very easy run and essentially another first down. On the next play, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna hit him with that crosser one more time. You can see he's pinching the defensive line. I probably could have ran for it, but easily get the touchdown here. As you can see, the user bites on that drag once again on a fourth and two. If I go back and put a side-by-side -side up between that drive and the first drive from the Tampa Bay game, it's the exact same play, exact same results. I even ran it from the same distance on the field. That's because this offense will have the same success against pretty much any opponent, no matter who you're playing, what team, what player, it's going to be the exact same thing. And it all starts with this run play right here. You can see I almost get the touchdown from about 13 yards out. On this next play, he comes out in a goal line and he spreads. If you stick to the read structure, you will have the most success possible. He's spreading. I have a gap right over the middle. I'm going to switch over to this dive. That's still going to be the best run. I could probably try to run it outside and still have success. But if he's going to give me the middle, I'm going to take the middle. It's really that simple. Take what the defense gives you. This play call tells you everything you need to know. He was in a goal line defense called the 60 out. You can see all the defensive lines spread out and he spread the defense on top of it because he was so worried about that first run that he basically just let me walk right down the middle. You're going to see that a lot. Eventually, it gets to the point where I'm essentially waiting to see what my opponent does. You can see right here, he's super spread wide apart because he's so worried about that run. Very easy play call for me. I'm just going to aim for the biggest gap once again. You're going to see we switch over to the dive and we have nothing but success running it right up the gut. As I essentially ran only one offense both of these two games that I'm showing you and had success where I pretty much scored a touchdown every single time. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more out of this offense, I can do a practice mode version showing how this particular play is a one play touchdown against every single defense of the game. So if you guys want to see that, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.